Hey everyone, CNC Keith here with yet again another DIY CNC video. In this video, we're going to go over all these great LEDs on the Acorn board and the 8 relay module in a little bit more detail. So let me get you oriented here. What I've got is an Acorn board connect connected up to the Relay 8 board in basically bench test mode. And bench test mode, the very first thing you want to do is set it up for communication. So you're going to put power and communication and you're going to get CNC 12 up and running and communicating with the Acorn board. And then the very next thing you do is connect up an e-stop circuit into input 8. And that's the stage that I am currently at. So a lot of folks make a mistake of starting to hook up drives and other things right away without testing this basic communication um, setup, which is what I want you to do. All righty, now let's, uh, let's check out some of these LEDs. On the upper left-hand side of the Acorn board, we have the input headers. So these are inputs one through four, five through eight on these two headers. There's also a 24 volt input here uh, as well, which I have wired back to 24 volts. So yellow is 24 volt positive, black is 24 volt common or 24 volt negative, and green is ground. So I've got a, a little wire, a jumper, going from 24 volt positive over here to the 24 volt positive terminal. Once you do that, that sets up the inputs ready to go to close the circuit. So what I have here is I've got an e-stop switch that simply has this wire going to it to input 8 to the switch and then the other side of the switch is going to the 24 volt common or 24 volt negative if you want to think about it that way. So when I toggle that switch watch what happens to the input 8 LED. It turns from red to green. So green means that the input is closed. So if you have a normally closed switch and it's not triggered, that's what it looks like. If you have which is what this e-stop is. So if I push this switch which triggers it, depresses it, it opens the circuit and the LED goes red. So all these LEDs right here are indicating that all these inputs right now are currently open. That's what red means on the inputs. So let me just demonstrate that. What I have here is I've got another black wire connected up to the 24 volt common. And I am just going to complete the circuit on input one by touching it. And notice that the LED changes from red to green. Same with number two, three, four, etc. So these LEDs on the Acorn board gives you a good indication of whatever you have hooked up to the inputs of whether they are triggered or not and it helps you easy debug there. Now you can also on CNC 12 press Alt I on the keyboard at the same time and you get this virtual LED screen shows up. Now there's a lot of information on here that doesn't apply to Acorn. Most of what applies to Acorn is up here. And this first row is inputs, and the first eight are the ACORN inputs. Now I'm going to go ahead and cycle the e-stop and watch what happens there to number eight. So e-stop is depressed. The LED goes red for number eight. If you want to know what number eight is assigned to, just move the cursor over on the keyboard here to number eight. And then right here it displays what that input is currently programmed to. So that's what you select in the wizard of what to program that particular input. So if I go ahead and trigger some of these other inputs with the wire that I showed you a second ago. For instance, there's number one. I'm closing and opening by hand just by connecting the input to common. So that's how the input LEDs work. Let's go over here and check out the output LEDs. There are eight, there is eight outputs on the Acorn board. There are also eight LEDs on the eight relay board. Now a red LED on an output means that that output is not energized. So the relay board here has single pull double throw relays. So there will be a connection between two of these terminals. It will be closed in this state. 
and the other two terminals will be open. This is super handy for hooking stuff up depending on uh, what you're hooking up and how you want to control things. So let me give you an example. When this LED here on an output turns green, it's letting us know that this relay and this output is energized. So let's check it out. I've got a couple outputs already programmed for the flood and the mist. So if I switch to manual mode, I hit it twice, let's get rid of that, and turn on the flood, you'll notice that the LED number one here on the output just turned on to, to green. Also on the Relay 8 board, the LED on the number one relay has turned on. So I'm gonna just go ahead and toggle the flood on and off. So you can see these two LEDs. Now I'm gonna hit the mist on as well. And the mist is programmed to output two. So you see the LED on output two has now turned green and the LED on the ACORN board for output two is also turned green. I also have the spindle program for forward and reverse. I'm gonna switch to manual mode. It's on forward right now and I can hit start. And you'll notice down here, if I hit stop, start, stop, start, input, output seven is toggling as I press start and stop on the spindle. So let's go ahead and check that out here on the ACORN board and the relay board. There we go, spindle start, output seven is on, spindle stop. If I did counterclockwise, which is reverse, and did start, I get output eight is on, and you'll see that over here reflected as well. Already the other LEDs on the ACORN board, we've got four LEDs up here, one for each axis. This is the enable LED. This is letting us know that the axis enable is turned on. And what the enable is all about is that tells an axis drive that it's okay to accept step and direction signals and start moving. So right now I haven't moved since I pressed E stop. So if I start jogging the X axis, and I'm just gonna switch to continue. So I'm jogging the, excuse me, the Y axis. You'll notice that the Y axis enable has turned green. So that axis is now enabled since I jogged it. And if now if I jog the X, the X turns green. If I jog the Z, the Z turns green. And the last one is the fourth axis. Now there's another LED over here that says 24 volt DC and it's flashing. This is a dual purpose LED. This LED lets us know that it does see a proper 24 volts connected up to the ACORN board, but it's also flashing in unison with the Beagle Bone heartbeat light. Now the heartbeat light on the Beagle Bone is on the underside and it's a little hard to see. So what we did is we went ahead and mirrored that heartbeat light out to this LED, which is pretty cool. So that lets you know that the Beagle Bone Green is up and running with the Centroid firmware and everything's good to go. So that's kind of it on the LEDs. Um, post any questions or anything you have on the forum. Good luck with your projects. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.